Greetings all, welcome back to the shed. Um, so, I did say on the last video that if it looked like I was going to make a heat shield for the Maz exhaust, I would. Um, and I think I'm going to. Um, I've got I've got bits of heat shield, um, using the old stuff that was on there. Um, but the trouble is, um, that would be great on a straight bit of um, exhaust, but um, the area which I'm having issues with, because I've got the forward controls, um, are where there's a couple of 45 degree bends. I don't know. Um, but um, I'll show you on the on the bike. So I was talking to my mate at work as I was raiding the scrap bin again, and um, he said, "Have you tried to make it out of glass fibre?" He said, "That's got very good um, insulating properties or heat reflective properties." I thought ah, that would be quite good and very easy to mould a bit more of a custom shape. So that was probably that might be something I might experiment with in the future. Um, but as I've got, I've got a little bit of uh, fiberglass matting and stuff left, but no resin. I'll have to go out and buy it all. So I'm in the shed in the evening, um, and I'm just going to go down to the stash of bits of metal that I have got, and um, I'll just have a little play around. I think even with a bit of aluminium, which is probably what I'll use, um, as long as I've got a bit of an air gap between the pipe and that, it's just to stop the leg getting burnt, really. Um, so. Let's have a look at it. Right then, so down in the little metal stash, all the bits that I uh, get out of the scrap bin, and go for this bad boy. I think that will uh, that will be the basis of the heat shield. Okay, so the exhausts are on, um, and. It's kind of this area with the forward controls that um, I've got the potential for, well not the potential, the very r real probability that um, I'll melt uh, my leg on there. Um, when I had them on before it was kind of around this area I'd get a little bit of waterproof that I need to scrape off so the heat shield is kind of going to go, probably follow these two bends here, so this kind of area here. Um, which I mean, it's going to be just a tiny bit wider than I need, which is fine. I can cut that down, and a little bit longer than I need. So that's all right. So that that should be a perfect uh, base for that. Um, actually, while we're at the bike, the old side mount. All sprayed up black now. A um, little boot on the end there just to weatherproof it all, but um, yeah, that's uh, turned out lovely. And uh, yeah, I was, I think, going putting it in black it was, was the best thing. I was just been probably being a little bit lazy before then, but. Um, yeah, a few people have worried about the uh, visibility, but um, you know, I've I've sort of stood behind it um, as if it, you know, you're a car, or whatever, and, and you can you can just see it fine. I'm really not worried about that. So uh, there we go. Right, on with the heat shield. Right, so we've got the uh, where the bends need to be marked out. There's one there, and then one here. Just stuck it in the vise. Um, I've got to try and bend some angles in. I'm not going to try doing anything too fancy. Um, just going to probably heat it up um, and just yeah, just bend against this um, piece of metal here. And because uh, the uh, the vise isn't quite deep enough for me to capture where I want to make the bends, um, hopefully that should be enough to bend against. But um, yeah, well. We can but try. Well, I'm not sure entirely how much uh, the phone battery had gone on it, so I don't know if I've got the bends, but I was trying again with a fully charged battery. I'd also just started rounding the edges off as well just to have a look um, I've cut the sides down a little bit after I put the bends in um, just about the 
I think that's about the thickness. The bend's actually turned out, considering that was by hand and just over the over my knee. Um, which way? Kind of turned out pretty, pretty good, I think. I maybe have, just might bend that front in a little bit, um, but otherwise, not bad by eye. That was probably more to do with luck than any skill. Um, so there we go, looks like I've got a skateboard deck just on the side there. Um, obviously there's going to be some sort of decorative element to it I think. Um, not entirely sure yet quite how we're going to finish this off but um, to be honest I didn't think I'd get the bends right in the first place and it would just look really shit so um, so we're on to, got further than I thought we were going to. Um, but yeah, just need to marked out the um, better radiuses so I just need to get them on the sander and cut them down um, and we'll see where we are at that point uh, Right, so we've got most of the sanding done there. Get those um, radiuses nice and even. Um, and I think we're pretty much there. So, let's have a little look. If uh, I actually like it. A bit cramped up here, obviously. Uh, which way? No, by the way, dickhead. Try and get get you round for a better view. It kind of doesn't look. It looks a little bit bizarre. Uh, is that no? Come on. Is that, um, through the camera, but actually in situ, it doesn't seem too bad. Um, obviously. I'm pretty certain that's going to it is going to go black um, and some have some whole detail through there. Um, so the next stage is to work out where the holes are going to go. Right, so we've got. Uh, I've just stuck a cable tie on it, really, just to kind of. Give a better hands-free view. It does look like a skateboard straps to the side. It's weird. It looks bigger through the camera than it does on the bike. Mind you, we are kind of quite scrunched up. Um, but yes, look. That's going to stay there. Just chip. That's good for the leg. Yep, that is ideal. Right, so just did a quick uh, sketch out of holes that way. Um, trying to work out if that looks a little bit too cluttered, really. Um, don't know, I'm not entirely convinced yet. I always find this bit a bit of a struggle, deciding where I want to put everything. Um, hasn't grabbed me immediately. So, I think I can have another little play around. I'll just have a quick doodles at the moment, just wiping it off and just quickly drawing. Um, so, I sort of staggered them. Don't think that's going to work. I mm, seem like doing lots of holes, but I don't know. I think uh, maybe in a line is the way actually. It always kind of looks a bit weird when you're drawing it out, and then tends to look a bit better once it's um, once it's drilled. Yeah, it doesn't look like quite enough break up there. 
Right, I was staring at it, I couldn't quite work out, and I divided it into six so it was even dots. I've done five now, so spaced out with five, and um, I prefer that. I, uh, I think that is the way forward, so I have to work my maths out again. I'm shit at that. But, but yeah, I'm obviously more into the odd numbers. But yeah. That's what I'm going for. I'll, I've left a bit of meat on each end because I'm not still haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to attach this yet. But um, one step at a time. So yeah, they're obviously just they're well reasonably accurate, but fairly rough. So I need to just uh, do it proper. Right, so I've just done tried one more just to be sure. Um, and I don't know, I quite like this one now. Um, I don't think I've got the layout quite right. I think the circles probably want to be slightly smaller. Um, I only separated into six, I need to do seven. And I think probably end on a single dot each end. Right, I think that is the pattern. <laughs> I say that. I am now wondering whether I should go two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm going to have a lot of. That feels like that's where a mounting point is going to be. More so than there or there. I think that might just break up the weight slightly better. So I'm just going to put in the other dots. Remove the others, so I'm going to get so confused. But yeah, I th that's the one that feels good to me. Yep, there we go. That's the one. Although I'm now looking through the camera, could I sort of put a hole in there? <laughs> I might, I might just draw one in either side, but I think that's the that's the layout I want. So whether we have those or not, um, I think it's time I need to start drilling. Right, so I've drawn them in. Um, not sure, just due to the spacing, they feel like they're a bit close to the edges. I don't want to bring them in, so that's going to throw out all the. Uh, you know the spacing um, it might be that if this is where I'm going to put a bolt head in for whatever clamping situation I have that'll be alright so I'm going to I'm going to leave them in but not drill them out until I've finished I think and just have a little have a little look I'm not convinced
That's uh, about two. 24 mil, I think it was, holes. Yeah, 24. I think that is about right. Um, so, we're going to offer that up to the exhaust and see if we need to go any bigger. But I'm, I'm liking that. I think that's enough. Alright, so let's have a little look in situ. A bit cramped up, I'm afraid, but um, for now, that's uh, yep, I'm more than happy with that. So, I've just got to work out how I'm going to attach it now. I want a bit of an air gap behind it, um, so I'm thinking some sort of I mean, I haven't got the um, I haven't got a way of sort of uh, welding stainless, so I can't really put any inserts on here at the moment um, which would have probably been the easiest way and I could just have like the little standoffs like we're on the, the back section um, so I need something with a little bit of a standoff probably through the pipe here and then some sort of clamp on the back that I can just screw that to I think that is probably the way I'm gonna try and work it out Right then, well, that's about the end of it. Um, uh, I've had a good few hours in here. Finished the skateboard band aid um, heat shield. Uh, I now have to try and think about how I'm going to attach that to the pipes. Um, haven't really thought that far ahead. Uh, possibly I could go down the Jubilee clip route. Um, I'd have to make some little kind of catches on here sort of similar to that and that allows it to clamp around the exhaust and have a bit of standoff I want a bit of gap between the exhaust and the plate as well um, so yeah I'm not sure yet I'll need to give that a bit of thought but it's been a bit of a long session in the shed um, I'm working overtime this weekend so that's probably going to be it in terms of what I get filmed and done um, but thanks for watching, take it easy, hopefully the next video I'll work out what the mounting arrangement will be for that, get it I think black because um, that's going to offset quite nicely I think against the stainless pipes um, and probably hopefully, hopefully it will save me a small fortune in waterproofs and um, scar tissue. Thanks for watching, take it easy and see you next time.